as the players emerge from the tunnel. I'll run through the Hereford team again for you. It's uh, number one, Matt Yates, two, Kieran Thomas, three, Danny Greenslade, four, Jordan Cullen and Lybird, five is Ethan Wassell, six, Harvey Smith, seven, Mike McGrath, eight, Tom O'Sullivan, nine, James Roberts, ten, George Lloyd, and eleven, Tom Owen Evans, with White, Jackson, Murphy, Finn, and Horsell on the bench. There's obviously going to be a period of silence tonight to mark the tragic events at Leicester at the weekend. Please do join us. Tough for quick off the mark. It's going to be Telford to get us going as they kick the ball long down the middle. Harvey Smith underneath that and heads it back. And a cross comes in the far side and it's cut out and drops on the edge of the area. Oh, God. So the corner comes in to the far post. And a header. Oh, and a lovely header at the far post from Shane Sutton, who was up there, but puts it wide. And it's been put out of the ground by Jordan Cullen and Lybird over the big, well, the office block, which is sort of two <laughs> stories high in the far side. And uh, it's going to drop into the area again and look like a. Uh, uh, oh, another shot comes in from uh, Telford they're having all of the uh, possession at the moment in this first half another shot comes in it's wide of the post by Sullivan but it's played forward again by Telford down the left hand side looking for um, Daniel Udo he manages to turn and get it infield to number four into the area but uh, a foot in there and he's going to drop to the edge of the area again and another shot comes in from outside the area Ross White he slips as he crosses to the right hand side but he gets it out to his winger uh, Cowens over here and uh, tries to play inside to Udo and it's got fallen oh nice shot there for comes in from Daryl Knights in sort of the centre forward position number 11 but straight at Matt Yates so Matt Yates with this free kick they do play a very high line Telford they're only 10 yards inside their own half and that's up and that's uh, Finds Roberts out on the left-hand side. Picked up by McGrath. 2-2, to, to Tom Owen Evans. Turned out to George Lloyd. George Lloyd tried to play a reverse pass inside him to uh, Tom Owen Evans. But uh, in the end, a good clearance over to the far side by, uh, by Telford. So a Hereford throw, level with the edge of the Telford penalty area. It's uh, infield to Roberts. Plays it back and played infield. Owen Evans with a turn. On the on the turn, a shot on the turn, and it's a go oh, and it's yeah, a goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toe George, poked in. George Lloyd. George Lloyd, his second goal in two games. He just poked it in. He was sort of on the floor and he scrambled it in just inside the goalkeeper's right hand post. And I, what did I say? What we could do with now is to, when a team has so much possession and so much dominance, how often do you see it that the team that's been under the cosh suddenly scores with a breakaway goal? It's back out to the left, crossed him from the left in towards the and it falls for a Doha inside the box and it's a tussle of legs from Hereford players and it did look a bit close for comfort but it scrambled clear up towards Roberts who goes past Street on the halfway line charging in from the left in towards the penalty box tussling away with Street and he checks back finds Owen Evans Owen Evans corner. about 20 yards out has a shot and it's gone out for a corner Oh, and it's a low ball into George Lloyd scuppers towards it and keeps it alive and it comes back in towards Cullinane Lybird who just heads past the bar past the post. It's street. Street back out on this right hand side into Cowan. Cowan loses it, gives it away to McGrath. McGrath Don't plays play it into O'Sullivan who loses the ball and was looking to sort of play around two. It's a shot from Telford and it's gone in about 20, 20 25 yards out from Adoa and it was a left footed shot. All came about as Sullivan lost the ball in a silly area really facing his goal. Adoa took two touches and then his second touch swang with his left foot and it went in off the right hand post. First touch that they do take doesn't get it out of their feet. It's a corner in for Telford and falls for Street who plays it back in towards Shane Sutton and Mike McGrath is able to clear 
And he's made good distance with the clearance. That's not a bad ball, and really. It's, yeah, and it's fallen for George Lloyd, who's put a lot of pressure on. George Lloyd travelling into the box, shoots with his... Oh, oh and he's come the off the post, off his left foot. And it's not going to fall for a Hereford player. Great play by George Lloyd, Lloyd, who was looking for his second of the match. Cut into the box, and it comes back out. Jordan Cullen and Lloyd up for that, but he does fall out to the left-hand side. Because Ball in from the left, falls to the edge of the area, and you get a shot in. No, Hereford closing down there, and a the shot comes in, and a save, diving away to his right hand side by Matt Yates to push it around the post to give away a corner. It kicks long, it's one in the air by Shane Sutton and played forward. But Harvey Smith should win that in the air, he does. He plays it over, and it's O'Doy gets a foot on it and through. O'Doy is in on goal on the right hand side, he plays it across the box, and a wonderful save. <laughs> oh, what a save, twice. <laughs> <laughs> Three times. Point yeah. blank save by Matty Yates, then saved the rebound as well, and eventually Grass hold of it. Grass left foot, or Roberts is one. right. Roberts to take, and it is fizzed in towards the right-hand side of the goal, but Witcherly gathers with ease. Owen Evans back to Greenslade on this left-hand side. Greenslade looks to cut in, and it's a good driving run by Greenslade, and he has the shot. And it just sails past the right-hand post and throws to Kieran Thomas on this right-hand side, tussling with Dawson. Looks to get free and gets past Dawson and gets the ball into the box. And it's going to fall for Owen Evans. Owen Evans is going oh, past the... Oh, and if Owen Evans had fallen then, there would have been a definite shot for a penalty. And instead, the decision has gone against Hereford. Throw in by Greenslade up the line, street heads it yes, and that that's is it. the full time whistle. One all here at Buck's End. <laughs>